Welcome back YouTube to my first ever playthrough of Mass Effect 3. In the last one we did the Grissom Academy mission which was so much fun and such a nice surprise meeting some characters from the books and some old squad mates as well. Recently we got a message from Caden and another message from Miranda asking us both to visit the Citadel so I figured this would be a good opportunity to head back there and finish off some of the side quests that we have in our journal. So that's the plan today. Thank you so much for being here and let's get stuck in. It's so interesting reading the books and how they describe things like the Citadel. If I hadn't have played the game first, how how differently I might have imagined it, because it's quite a unique design and the way they describe it in the books is pretty spot on to this, but you know how you might imagine something differently if you didn't already have a picture of it in your head. Anyway, let's dock. We're going to go to Alliance Docks or Dr. Bryson's lab. Alliance Docks, I think. I want to go You're to the hospital. You're to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I want to go to the hospital. I need to get to the hospital. Yes, Commander. Yay! There's Thin. Hi, baby. Basically, Caden emailed me saying that he was feeling a lot better and he was causing trouble for the nurses around the hospital and he wanted me to visit him, so that's what we're doing first. Oh, he's up! He's up! There he is! He's dressed, everyone! Boo! Hey, Shepard. If you came to spring me, you're late. I'm getting out soon. What does he mean by Good that? Here. Maybe you already saw the vid, but I accepted Udina's offer. Yay! Spectre Kadenalenko. That's a big deal. Only the second human Spectre. <laughs> it's humbling. Oh, the Udina two of us. Thinks they may have a pretty big ceremony, even with the war. He says a celebration will give folks something hopeful to latch on to. Oh, they're going to do... What? I didn't get a celebration. But I'm not salty about it. I will celebrate you. You ready to take on that responsibility? You set the bar pretty high, but I'll do my best. It's strange. On Mars, I should have died. Yeah. The promotion from Anderson, Spectre status... These are terrible days. But I've been lucky. Oh, bless him. I admire you. Oh, You're perfect for the job. On Eden Prime, I could see there was something special about you. You're a good soldier. That means a lot. I'm happy. I want to serve. I thought you might want to join the Normandy. Oh, please yeah. join the Normandy. I have thought about that. I just need to get out of here first, though. Take care of some things. I've been trying to locate my old spec op squads, my students from biotics division. Any luck? No, probably went underground, but they'll turn up. If they were easy to find, they wouldn't be doing their jobs. Well, let me know when you're out. Oh, where are you going? Take care, Spectre Lenko. Stay safe, Commander. You should have called me Spectre Shepard, remember? Oh, I want to talk more. Hello? Hello? No! Oh, that makes me sad. I overheard you talking. Grissom Academy is gone, but I found this while I was there. What is it? Yes, these are tailored to human physiology, but with a few alterations, they should work for the Asari as well. This is exactly what I needed. Thank you. Oh, we were. I, I was overhearing a conversation she was having the last time I was here. I can't remember exactly what she was saying, but I'm glad we could help her. Tell Matriarch Athena that our Huntresses should have the upgrades waiting for them on their next shore leave. No, they were very easy to scale. The humans made some amazing breakthroughs. We were deployed to Tiptree. It's a small human colony. We were supposed to help with evac. The enemy was landing. Just scouts, the Turian things, a few of the big ones. She seems really anxious around any other species at the minute. It sounds like you were doing good work. Could I have a gun? I'd feel a lot better. Just tell me what happened at Tip Tree. I feel like we're going to have to keep walking around past this to hear more bits of the conversation. Yeah. How cool is that, by the way? Like, the Citadel's looking well. Miranda said that she was going to be in Docking Bay. Oh, this one probably. D24. Let's see if we can find her. Now arriving at docking bay D24. Let's see if we can find her. 
Where are you? There she is! I see her! Commander Shepard. Yay! It's been far too long. We live in interesting times. A little too interesting. Did she quit Cerberus then, or...? I not you when the Alliance had you locked up. Relieved of duty. It was complicated. I'm sure it was. I'm surprised they didn't court-martial you. The Alliance isn't known for its flexibility. Aww. Doesn't matter now. Shepard, about Earth. Aww. It was devastating, Miranda. Countless people lost their lives within minutes. The Reapers are everything we feared. They should have listened to you a long time ago. It's nice to hear I'm someone sorry, say Shepard. that, I bet. What about you? What brings you here? I need to talk to a few people. Like you. The Citadel is a good place to meet. For now. What's the Alliance's next move? We have a plan. It's a long shot. <laughs> Not surprising. Shepard? There's something I wanted to mention. What is it? I haven't heard from my sister oh, shit. for a while. We helped her in Mass Effect 2. Your sister? Yes. I don't want to overreact, but... Well, there's a lot going on. I thought we made sure she was safe. We did. It's probably nothing, but... I just know my father is involved. We can do another little side quest what with happened? you, Miranda, yeah. I don't know. Everything I had in place to make sure she was safe went dark. Well, good luck. <laughs> no, what can I do? I can help. What do you need from me? I appreciate the offer, Shepard. But you have your hands full. Mm. If I need a door or two kicked down, I know just who to call. But for now, I'll be fine. No, let okay. us help. I understand. I have to figure this out. Oh, I feel for her. Tell me more. You will. Oh, <laughs> that's interesting. I'm sure the dialogue said, tell me more. And then <laughs> maybe it just opens up this, does it? Okay, well, tell me a bit more about it, Dad. Why do you think your father is involved in Oriana's disappearance? I kept careful tabs on my sister. I always knew where she was. For her to just vanish, it could only be him. After I hid her away, I still knew he'd stop at nothing to find her. She's all he has left. Oof. I have a hunch what happened, but I'll fill you in when I'm certain. What have you been doing then? It's been a long time. What happened to you? I've been in hiding. Being on the run from just about everyone isn't as glamorous as it sounds. Why couldn't she come know. with us? It's all right. I know she's Cerberus. I knew there would be repercussions to walking away from Cerberus. Ex-Cerberus. I imagine. You're a dangerous enemy. I am. Oh! What about Cerberus then? Have you had any run-ins with the elusive man? Just once. He said it had been a pleasure to work with me. That's weird. But he needed to contain the situation. Contain the situation? Sounds final. It nearly was. He doesn't take rejection well. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Just the girls bitching about Tim. Okay, any more leads on the Citadel then? Give me some side for a quests. Lead here, anyone associated with Cerberus will be hard to find. No question. But I'm owed a few favors. Someone here will give she me a She looks so good. Oh, okay. So hopefully she's she's kind of telling us the details but not enough details. I hope that we come we circle back to this at some point. So I do want to help her. I've got to get back to it. And I should get out of sight. Be careful. Thank you, old friend. No promises. I wish they'd hug or something, girls. Come on. Oh, This is the biotic amp interfaces one that we just did with the Asari. An Asari on the Citadel is looking for improved biotic amp interfaces. Find schematics and bring them to her at the Memorial Hospital. That's what we just did. So we found them at the Grissom Academy, I believe, and I just handed them to her. So that's one of them done. So we've got Thane in the patient lounge. We've got lab services number two, inpatient wing three, and examination rooms four. James is in the lower bar of purgatory, of course he is. Aria's in the VIP lounge, understandably so. Oh, I didn't realize the whole crew gets off the Normandy to have a walk around. That's so cool. Liara's at Apollo's cafe. Edie and Joker are at the market together. That's cute. And Garrus is at the cargo hold and Ke Kelly's here. 
Holy shit, we need to go visit Kelly. The game has spoiled itself, everyone. <laughs> Can someone ban uh, Bioware from the chat, please? <laughs> okay, I think I should go to the commons because that's where Joker and Edie were hanging out, I think. Ooh, oh my God, it's looking good, isn't it? So here's the bank. Gung ho civilian. Mackenzie's a biotic. Dave and Graham go to the pistol range. Oh, and Orion's always buying mods for a shotgun. The one he's never even fired. I love our friends, but we are not combat material. Okay. I, just, I can't sit around watching what's happening to Earth anymore. So you want us to enlist as soldiers? Isn't there anything else we can do? There is the stuff you can do. Can None of us knows how to fight. Mackenzie's a biotic. You two could save lives by helping doctors in the refugee camps. Um, thanks. Ah. Who was that? The first human specter. Wow, Commander Shepard? Yes, yeah, it's, it's me, Commander yeah, Shepard. Let's sign up as med tent volunteers. How's that sound? Much better than shooting myself in the foot with a rifle. Yeah, go be volunteers. Go help. basic services it seems the reapers took our culture when they took our world the book of clinics demands charity and forgiveness of debts in times of war of course the book of clinics was lost on our home do we have to go to the volus home world our people have lost their way let me see what that just put into my journal. A Volus on the Citadel needs the Book of Plenix to inspire his people. Recover it from Irun and return it to him in the Presidium Commons. Ooh, okay. Supplies. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, I don't know what to buy. So much stuff. It's so expensive though, so I can't buy it all. I don't want Cerberus armor. Ew. What is this? Oh, this is going to automatically feed my fish for me. 25,000 credits, though. Hmm, I don't think so. I think I'm ready to end it with him. Oh, <gasps> girl. Things weren't great even before he deployed. And if I pretend to be happy over the vids, it's not fair to him or to you. With all the craziness of a war going on, you deserve Mistress. to be happy. And I'm not. I have to be honest with him. Oh, shit. You need to tell him. She has an Asari mistress. I'm obsessed with that. That is such piping hot tea from the Citadel. I want to see where Liara is. I'm so... I can't believe I didn't think that they would get off the Normandy and wander around the Citadel as well. Where is she? This is half the fun, isn't it? No main missions today. We're just wandering around the Citadel. Is that my little Asari princess? Yay! Still working? Liara, have a day off. Another, and here I was hoping I'd have time to enjoy the view. The last time I saw the Presidium. Oof. Remember how it was all rubble after Sovereign attacked? Um, yeah. How could I forget, Liara? I barely got to see the Presidium before half of it got crushed. And by the time they repaired it, it was time for the next invasion. Citadel hasn't seen the reality of this war yet. Yeah, they seem a little we bit... stock up on necessities while we can. Especially overhearing that Solarian as. guy. Doesn't He's really, uh... Arms, mercenary groups. Doesn't understand the weight of what's happening right now. You should relax more. That is a nice depend. Very, this is going to be very dependent on Shepard's tone of how she phrases this. It may come across as patronizing. We'll get the people. Take a moment for yourself. Okay, that's now, said man. with love. That's I said know, with love. I know. But there's always just one more task or meeting. Speaking of which, talk to the Volus Barlavon. He'll point you to some mercenaries willing to join us. Oh my God! This place looks so cool. Who am I listening to? But what if there's another attack? We can't spend our lives waiting for that. We're in the middle of a war, and I'm just supposed to send him away every morning? We've got to keep Jake in daycare. We should be socializing with other children. I can support Rebecca. I remember you two. Michael and Rebecca, right? Is this the woman Listen, that... Is this her brother-in-law? best for your family. Just do it soon. Things are bad out there. We will. And thank you. 
I think that's the people that I've met throughout all three games and her late husband is this guy's brother so he stepped in to help her raise the son but they have very differing opinions on how he should be raised <laughs> i quite like this there's a lot of random conversations that we're overhearing in the citadel it's really cool and the citadel's looking beautiful as ever wow oh who's this hey girl what are you up to? You look like you're gathering data. That is a safe assumption. Anything big and world shaking? Man's inhumanity to man? Does objective reality really exist? That kind of thing? I was running scenarios in my head to analyze Jeff's behavior. <laughs> I believe he has a strong affectionate attachment to me, but he has not stated it to anyone yet. Um, he's Chipper, been pretty open about it. Transsexual experience. How do you know when someone is romantically invested? <laughs> oh my god. Shepard, you fuck. <laughs> Shepard, I've heard about all your boyfriends. <laughs> how has Edie heard about all this? It's Kasumi. Kasumi tells everyone. Look at how awkward. <laughs> she has cameras all over the ship. She's seen me. No. She knows about Finn and Garrus and Kaden and Kelly. Oh my god. We had Kelly as well. Oh my mama. Oh dear. Okay, well, um, let's get into this conversation then. Uh, they'll usually show signs they can't stop thinking about you. You know, masking you out, giving you presents. Maybe playing music? I lack material wants other than- That awkward pause was so items. weird. And my core programming does not assign values to music. Perhaps we could discuss how to provoke Jeff into an emotional commitment. That's not how to think of it. It's got to be natural. You need chemistry. I see. There are a number of pharmaceuticals I could inject to simulate the desired emotion. Shepard's like- No. <laughs> No, I mean relax and do something you both like. Why are something we encouraging simple. this? Example, you both like humor. Correct. I will see if there are comedic entertainment shows being presented on the Citadel. Scanning. Do you think he would like the man who hung himself? It appears to be about an amorous plastic surgeon. What is happening? What is happening? Your company is what matters, Edie. Edie, the important thing is to have a good time. Oh, you bless go. her. And if you're having fun, he probably will too. Then the outcome is an unknown quantity, but you are saying I should attempt it anyway. Nobody ever fell in love without being a little bit brave. Oh, I see. I believe you have improved my chances, Shepard. Thank you. What are you wanting to gain from this, though, Edie? I'm so confused right now. Look at this man ogling my my AI. Stop looking at her like that. I have noticed many displays of public affection on the Citadel. The rate seems disproportionately yes, high. Yes, this fucking guy. Could die tomorrow, Edie. Looking up is one of the few things they can do. I wonder if this is how the Krogan feel. Oh, this is so confusing. Let's see what Joker has to say then. Hi, friend. Hey, Commander. Check it out. Big news. The Blasto movie is breaking opening week records. There's also a big expose on Quasar tournaments. Tips on how to make your apartment look bigger. And, oh yeah, a big-ass Reaper invasion. Nobody's taking us seriously, are they, Jeff? These people have no idea. They're scared, Jeff. Let them try and be normal. When big events shake up the galaxy, people cling to what's familiar. You say that like it's a good thing. It's better than riots in the streets. I guess. I just wish there were a middle ground. You know, a little less gardening advice, a little <laughs> more war prep. I get that. It'll happen. Once there's something people can do to help. Meanwhile, they ignore the unshackled AI walking around the Presidium. You can't ignore her, can trouble? you? No, no, she's my mobility assistance mech. <laughs> Thanks to Vrolic Syndrome, I'm legally entitled to bring her everywhere. Finally getting some use out of those disability benefits. I'm sure she appreciates getting out to see the sights. Ah, she's earned a little shore leave. Shepard, are you not going to mention? I guess Shepard's a girl's girl. She's not going to tell Joker what Edie was just saying. It's so cute. I 
really appreciate management doing it. My husband's away on duty right now. She has a Turian husband. Turian? No, actually, my husband's a Krogan. Oh, sorry. Oh. I shouldn't have assumed. Oh, that's great. I just hope he knows which ones to fight. Excuse me? Oh, I didn't... Uh, well, I, I just... My husband is risking his life what was to that? protect us right now. I'm so sorry. That was thoughtless and... Uh, I'm so sorry. No, no, I understand. Sometimes Woof. I'm surprised myself. Anyway, would you like to make a purchase? Yes, yes, of course. Anything for our troops. She, that got a bit awkward, didn't it? Yeah, that's such a nice line. That's such a nice line. No one ever fell in love without being a little brave. Shepherd. God, there's so much going on. Mm. You're not on my appointment list, and you don't have a receipt. I, I don't even think we carry that version anymore. I'm team sales clerk all the way. There's nothing I can do without a sales record of some kind. Sorry, I've been there. I support the sales clerk all the way. Can't help you. But your manager said. Are you keeping this guy at work while there's a war on? Uh, well. It's his job, right? Actually, I'm supposed to be on break. Contacting the family I haven't heard from in days. Uh, yeah. I guess maybe a war's a bad time. Maybe? That didn't cross your mind the other ten times you visited this week? Uh, yeah, sorry. I'll just, uh, yeah. I've never seen anyone so obsessed with getting a refund for a toaster oven. Where have I seen this guy before? He's in the previous games. You've wanted a refund all this time, sir. No, I think we saw him in the in the warehouse. The heating unit so the water temperature can remain steady. The colony's location is hardly ideal for our species. The clutch will be imperiled if we do not act soon. Of course, I will do everything I can do to help your family. Oh. Extreme weather conditions may require technology that is not readily available on the market. What did that just put into my journal? A Salarian on the Citadel needs new heating unit stabilizers. Find them and bring them to him. Okay, so a lot of them is just finding random stuff and bringing them back. So I guess we'll find it along the way. She looks like she's not interested in you. In whatever you're saying, she does not care. <laughs> I thought our training prepared us for everything. Yes. Every time that Asari commando sees me, she just starts screaming. Oh, is she talking about the one with PTSD? your fault any human would probably trigger that reaction for her at this point no i looked up the file on that colony she was at oh that girl she keeps talking about we look alike i shouldn't even be allowed in to help anymore oh that's sad what i don't know if i should go to purgatory yet i want to go and speak to barlavon again i think because liara told me to speak to him about some I can't remember if it was mercenaries or something that were happy to join us. We'll see what he says. Barlavon, I think we also met him in Mass Effect 1. Commander Shepard. It's been some time. Barlavon, in case you've forgotten. Financial yes, advisor. Yes, I remember you. And an acquaintance of Admiral Anderson. I admire the courage it took for him to stay and fight on your home world. Oh, I remember you. He used to be an agent for the Shadow Broker. I still am. The broker is being This isn't the biotic god, is it? Lately. No. A team of his guards have become stranded in a reaper controlled territory. Rescue the guards, and they're yours. The Shadow Broker fully supports your efforts against the Reapers. I know the Shadow Broker. Thanks. I appreciate the information. Just don't wait too long to act on it. The Reapers are advancing all too quickly. Come see me once you've completed the extraction. I'll be in my office a while longer. The Galactic Market that is noise in is going right through me. Considerable flux. <laughs> okay, Barlavon has provided the location of Shadow Broker forces trapped in the Dranic system inside the Krogan DMZ. 
recruit them to the war effort and return to Barlavon. Okay, so that's another little side quest we can do. I came to the Citadel to complete side quests and all that we've done so far is pick up more side quests. I'm very pleased that there's lots of side quests because it means that the game will be longer, right? We'll go to Purgatory and we'll chat to James. James is in here somewhere. Oh yeah. Is he being sick? Gross. Pull yourself together, man. Oh, look! The bar looks so cool down there! The smell core! I know people are complaining. We're doing what we can with what we've got here, but let me finish. Allison! Our power grid can only handle so much power before it shuts down, and we can't use the backups. No, the new regs apply to the whole citadel. Management knows this is important for morale, but we can't go over budget. Look, I'm not touching the backups. Give me a better power grid, I'll give you a bigger light show. A technician at Purgatory on the Citadel needs an improved power grid to keep things running. Find schematics for a new power grid and deliver them. Hmm. I have lots of little fetch quests for people, don't I? Oh yeah. Let's go find James and Arya. Wow. Oh, goodness me. Oh no. Shit, they just kept coming and coming. And not even sure from where. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Poor Bilal. They didn't have to take him out like that. Brutal. Whoa. Okay. This place is huge. Hey. You ready to get this party started? Hey, Mel. You're, uh, here. Hell yeah, I'm here. The next 48 hours. I'm spending as much time in this bar as possibly possible. She. He doesn't seem interested, girl. Oh, it's guys' night. You come party with me. God damn it. Where is James? Where are you, James? <laughs> this is so cool. I'm working! Woohoo! <laughs> there he is. Hey, Commander. What are you up to? Nice to see you down here in the dirt with us grunts. Don't talk about grunt. You think I don't like getting dirty? Well, now, come on. I didn't mean anything by it, Commander. Uh-huh. What did you mean, then? You see those Marines over there? None of them officers. Just soldiers fighting a war. Yeah? They've been buying me drinks all night. You know why? Same reason they got all quiet and serious when you walked in. Oh, okay. Is that the way you see me? I don't know where this is going, this conversation. Is that the way you see me? You don't seem intimidated by me in the least. In fact, you could use a little more deference. <laughs> sure, but I've fought with you. I've seen you in action. Now, don't get me wrong, you're good. Probably one of the best. Oh, thanks. Probably. Oh, she didn't like that. Uniform like nobody. That's so inappropriate, Jims. But I know you're human, just like me. But not them. That's so inappropriate. Nope. Hell, I still remember <laughs> the day they made you the first human specter. I watched it on the vids, just like all of them. But to them, you're still larger than life. I don't like it. I want to go and have a drink with them. Let me buy them all a round of drinks. I've seen a hell of a lot, but I'm still just a soldier. I'm still one of them. Sure, but they don't know you. They just know what they've been told. Listen. Buy them some drinks. Them see you're one of us, right? Maybe. Then buy them around. Yes. Why is it the renegade option to say, I want to buy them drinks? Why Why would Na Not Today be Paragon? I want to buy them drinks. Is that bad of me? Is that bad of me to buy them drinks? I know it's not necessarily bad. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It isn't very by the book, but... Shepherd is known to be not very by the book. My shepherd is anyway. We're crossing the boundary of subordinate and superior. We crossed that boundary many, many years ago. <laughs> the line is far behind us at this point. I'm gonna buy them drinks. I like the way you think, Lieutenant. Compadres, hey! The commander would like you to have a drink. On her. So here's to us. Yay! Damn few. Why is that renegade? Woo! 
Whoa! It's an honor meeting you, Commander. Thanks, though we're all in this together. Every one of us has a part to play. True enough. Cheers. Cheers. Let's drink together. Not bad, Shepard. I was hoping you'd know that one. <laughs> Thanks for the warning. Thanks for the drink. <laughs> the way he just turned straight around as soon as I bought him a drink. Thanks, I should go. When we get back to Earth, I'm buying. Sure, okay. That's <laughs> so funny. The troops need something to bring back their fighting spirit. Remember the stories of the first regiment on Castellus? Outnumbered, knowing they would die. What was that we just picked up? Apian Crest, Banner of the 1st Regiment. A Turian officer needs the Banner of the 1st Regiment to inspire his troops. Recover it from Castellus in the Apian Crest and deliver it to him at Purgatory on the Citadel. Well, so far, all we've done today is gather more side quests to do. You guys want to give me any more side quests? No, you're quiet? Fine. Should we go and speak to Arya now? I feel like, whoa, are you wearing assless pants, ma'am? That is so iconic of you. Wow. <laughs> I love it here. What is your quest, ass lady? Oh my God. Arya, save me. <laughs> so you admit you and your thugs are here illegally? Yes, and it only took CSEC three weeks to figure it out. I don't care who you are. You're required to go through processing like all other refugees. Come with me. I don't think so. Shirk, get me the Asari counselor. Uh oh. Greetings, Arya. Is there something you need? Oh, she has her own I'm call. I'm being asked to submit to immigration processing. Of course you are. Done. What else can I do for you? Nothing. Thank you. Wow. My pleasure. I think we're done here. Arya's in charge. We love that. Enjoy the show, Shepard. I guess there's one rule on the Citadel, huh? I guess so. I hate this place. So sickeningly uptight. Why is she here and not Omega? And why are you here? Great question. Me and Shepard are so in sync. Cerberus stole Omega from me. The elusive man is now squarely at the top of my ship list. Oh shit! Okay. For every second spent in this bureaucratic hellhole. <laughs> Sometimes Shepard's face is just so funny. She's like, uh, what happened? How did Cerberus defeat you? Deceit, distraction, and a big fucking army. They lured me away from Omega and ambushed me. I escaped, but Cerberus had already laid siege. By the time I could launch an assault, they were too entrenched. But you're alive. At least you escaped to fight another day. And that day is coming. I'll take I'm in. Back. Whatever you want, I'm in. That. You're here because I have a proposition. I'm listening. The way Shepard has I great posture. It, if you don't defeat the Reapers, we're all dead. Won't matter where I'm sitting. Yep. It's in my interest to help you. What are you offering, Arya? On Omega, I kept the Blood Pack, Blue Suns, and Eclipse in check. Now they're running amok. Nobody wants that. Unite them under my rule, and you'll have a powerful and ruthless force for your war. Unite I those three troops? All three groups. I just need you to close the deals. What? Oh my god. They're all scum, Arya. Give a criminal a gun, he'll shoot you in the back. They already have guns. Shepard. I'll make sure they point them at the Reapers. I'm trying to help you. Why don't you think it over? Meet with Narl, my agent who's dealing with the Blood Pack. The Blue Sun's leader is incognito here on the Citadel. He'll be expecting you. And I already have a deal with Jonas Sedaris, the Eclipse leader. You just have to get your friend, Commander Bailey, to let Ooh, her out of jail. I could do that. <laughs> you obviously don't know Bailey very well. Bailey respects you. Lean on him. Oh, you want me to I manipulate think him? Force of professional marks is worth it. Don't you? It's always a pleasure, Shepard. 
Let me know if you want to talk later. Okay. Oh my god, let's have a look at the journal now. Oh my god, three more quests. Guys, we were supposed to complete side quests today and all I've done is pick up seven more quests. <laughs> I love side quests. The embassies, we need to visit the embassies. Oh, we need to go to the docks. Okay, I think I'll go to the docks holding area first. Visit Kelly. Get me out of this loud bar. Now arriving at docking bay E24. Emergency civilian housing. Uh oh. Yes, can. Tell your friends to move their ship out of the docking bay. Wait, please. My family's on board. Just let them land. I'll pay. This isn't about money. The words are already at capacity for refugees. We can't send people away. No room. You let Asari in here earlier. That's back when we had space. Where is my family supposed to go? I don't know. All right. But they can't land here. I'm sorry, I have to support the refugee. Sure you can't squeeze in a few more people, officer. And who the heck are you? Oh, Commander Shepard. Mm -hmm. uh, if that's what you think, I'll, uh, I'll find them some room. So my family can dock? Commander Shepard says your family's cleared. Just tell them to hurry. I... Thank you, Commander. Thank you so much. I hope I made the right decision. Excuse me, what was your name? Batar Batarian. Good to meet you. How long have you been here? I don't know. I'm, I'm not in the... I don't know how long it was since I escaped Leo. Do you know Leo? No. In France? Where is Kelly? No. Yeoman Kelly Chambers. Yay! Shepard, it's really you. I could just hug you. It's oh good yeah. To see you too, Kelly. <sighs> and they I've were roommates. So Without my Cerberus contacts, I had no way of knowing if you'd survive the invasion. Oh, bless her. You're not with Cerberus anymore. Working with you opened my eyes, got me thinking. Please come I back to the Normandy. What Cerberus had done. In good conscience, I couldn't stay with them. You inspired me to leave. Come with me and you'll see. I broke out into song. God, wow. <clears throat> Just, you can come with me if you want. Come back to the Normandy. Please believe me. <laughs> no! I want nothing more than to be with you again, but I can't. Ever since the Collectors abducted us. Oh. I relive it every night. That's I see awful. Joker running out. Then that cold hand pulls me back. They're above me. Around me. They stuff me into that coffin and... I'm relieved that they aren't touching me anymore. But then it's so small. You can't breathe. This is awful. It seems like forever. I watched people melt. No. It's okay. I'm fine. I just can't step back onto the Normandy. I'm sorry. I understand. And even if I could, I shouldn't. I'm making a difference here. If there was ever a reason I studied psychology, it was to help people at a time like this. I think I already said this. Didn't think Cerberus liked people going AWOL. They don't. But Cerberus has more important things to worry about than me. Fair enough. Change your identity? I don't know if that's good advice. Just take care of the refugees. Take care of the... Re Why would she need to change her identity? That option's made me a little bit worried, that. Change your identity. It kind of makes me feel like... Obviously, I don't think the Reapers are going to specifically come after Kelly, but maybe Cerberus would? I think I'm going to tell her to change her identity. Don't take chances with Cerberus. Change your look, change your name, get new identification. That takes time, and the people here need my help. Do it, Kelly. Okay, I will. If you think I should. I'm so glad you found me. Change your look. Seeing you makes everything right again. Oh, I remember oh, that night. Oh, your fish. <gasps> Nobody was going to take care of them with you in custody, so I saved them. Yay! I'll send them back to you. Oh, I need to run. 
Please be careful. You be careful. Oh, she's disappeared. I told her to change her identity and now she is a Solarian. <laughs> Wow, there's so much going on down here. I think Garrus is here somewhere. Oh god, Let's there's lots of Turians. Yes, sir. And have we heard anything from the hospital? I hear your voice. Keep on. Uh, excuse me. Garrus, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Shepard. Oh, hello, my darling. What's happening? We convinced the Council to accept our wounded. Nowhere else to go. How bad is it? More dead than injured. 85% <gasps> killed Holy in shit. We'll need a morgue soon. Not a lot of flesh wounds when you're fighting rapers. That bad... Shepard, this is inappropriate. That bad? He just said 85%. Casualties are that high? Our frontline units are being wiped out whole platoons at a time. A single reaper can destroy nine or ten of them in one attack. That's not war. It's slaughter. They're called Reapers for a reason. And these guys found out why. Oh, I can't say can they still fight. No, we minimize the suffering. Do what you can for them. A few of them might get back on their feet, but the rest... Sympathy is about all we can offer. Any sign of your family? His not yet, father and his I sister? What about you? I'm starting to see some wear and tear. Oh! Excuse me. I felt better. I won't lie. It's been rough. Well, don't forget to come up for air. There's a lot more war to go. Who's this? A sales clerk? You have a copy of a Shepherd VI. Yeah, what the fuck? Oh, yeah. The one based on that war hero? What do you we mean? We locked it after some kids spilled soda over the hardware. I'll unlock it, but we've only got the demo version working. It's me. How are you not ready? It's me. Hello. Good to meet you. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Extranet says you're Alliance military. Take care of yourself out there, officer. Where's the Spider-Man meme? There's nothing this galaxy can't beat if we all work together. Oh, God. I'm going to be out of a job soon. Except the Reapers. Oh. <laughs> Ever see the size of one of those things? My personality matrix can predict what the real Commander Shepard would say with 7% accuracy. 7% Shep GPT. <laughs> I come pre-installed with an SSV Normandy flight sim. Got any pets? You look like a Varen person. I have a Varen, remember? Always nice to see you. Anyone ever tell you you're one hell of a looker, soldier? <laughs> Don't be a stranger. Okay, I'm going. Don't sound like that. Do I? Do I? Garrus? Is that... You're nodding? Okay, why? I'm leaving. Darner Vosk. Wow. Arya wasn't kidding. The great Commander Shepard on a leash. Excuse me? I'm here for my own reasons, Vosk. Oh, sure you are. Anyway, tell her I'm impressed, but to do business, I still need my little problem taken care of. Another side quest. Is... God damn it. A Torian general named Oraka has it out for the Blue Suns. He's raising a stink over our activity in this sector. I'll commit my gang to Arya as soon as Oraka's dead. Okay, right. So, side quest within a side quest. What aren't you telling me, sir? There must be more to Oraka's complaint. We're just making little raids along trading routes. With Arya's blessing, I might add. Oraka's just some military fossil who came out of retirement to relive the glory days and justify his existence. Losing him won't affect your war in the least, but gaining the Blue Suns, well, you know our work. I won't kill for you, or I'll take care of it. Oh, in the long run, I want Arya on side, and she wants all of these gangs on side. I don't feel like killing a Turian man for him. I'm going to say I won't kill for you. You seriously think I'll assassinate a Turian general? Arya seems to think so. Or else, why would she send you? She knew the price. The two of you work it out. Okay. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> tell Arya I still expect her blue ass in bed with me. What? <laughs> what is it, Shepard? You knew about this? Can you be more specific? Darner Vosk expects me to kill General Oraka. 
Have I met Araka before? What he needs is for Araka to stop disrupting his operations. I figured you'd talk to Araka, see if you could get him to lay off. That's more reasonable. Save the soft zone. This is the same damn thing, girl. I don't see the distinction. The distinction is that I'm giving you the chance to save his life. Right. Why didn't you just tell me this yourself? Vosk needed to see you, needed to realize who he's dealing with. Plus, if I have to suffer that scumbag staring at my tits one more time, I might have to kill him. Just kill him, girl. Yeah, he mentioned that, uh... That I'm going to sleep with him? We all have our Oh, he's Delulu. We love that for him. He wants General Oraka out of his way before committing the sons to Arya. Okay, so we don't we don't necessarily have to kill him. We just have to negotiate with him a little bit. Okay. We haven't been to the embassies. I think that's where we need to go next because we've been to the Memorial Hospital. We've been to Purgatory. We've been to the Commons. Oh, who's Gnarl? Okay, that's new. And General Oraka is in the courtyard. Okay, so we could go back to the Commons. Okay, let's go to the embassies first and catch up with Bailey, Udina, and John Doombao. I kind of recognize that name, so that must be in my journal somewhere. I hope this isn't a boring episode. Just wandering around, catching up with people. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Okay. Yes, I have spoken to you before. Why do you refuse to help me? Oh, if it's possible that my oh, so I fully understand the situation. Of course, I read through the names of the dead every day, but please, please, a few more minutes of searching could mean a lifetime of peace for my family. Someone in your family is MIA? Shepard is just My like, oh yeah, sorry, I was just listening to your conversation. Democratic compassion seems to be in short supply. I am Ambassador Dominic Osoba. My son's squad returned from their mission on Benning without him. I found them drinking, but they won't even look me in the eye. Oh, I hope it's not that I group of people I just for bought drinks for. It. If Balao's alive, we want him home. If he's dead, then... then we can begin to mourn him. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Thank you. Either way, you will set my mind at ease. I'm all side-quested out. Commander Bailey. Hello, old friend. Shepard, to what do I owe the pleasure? Here to talk to you about releasing Jonas Adaris. Damn, you too? Somebody got the council to order her release. I'm delaying as best I can. What's your stake in this? It's classified. Oh. That's a fancy way of saying mind your own business. Respectfully, Look, yeah. There's no way I'm letting that psychopath out. The woman's unstable and a clear public threat. How unstable is she, realistically? What makes you think she's crazy? She was That's a not what he said. <laughs> before she got caught. Her imprisonment has cracked a shell off the nut. Maybe freedom will improve her. She rages day and night, Shepard, calling for the deaths of all Eclipse enemies. Mm. No, freedom will only give her the chance to kill. Oh, let me see her. I'd like access to her to judge for myself. I'm sure in charge, thing. remember? I'm sure you'll agree. Then maybe the council will listen to you and rescind the order. Go to the CSEC outpost. My assistant will connect to Sedera's cell from there. Then call me back. <gasps> so many side quests. Do this, do that, do this, do that. What's in here? Spectre status recognized. What is this little room? This is mine and Caden's office? Oh. oh, Spectre Terminal. Welcome to the Spectre Information Processing Center. This terminal offers secure information, access, and support for authorization of covert operations or requisitions. It is restricted to operatives currently on active duty with special tactics and reconnaissance. 
Any operation requiring payment can be executed at the terminal nearby, which supports secure and untraceable financial transactions. Aquarian Fleet Intel. Okay, Citadel Entry Authorization. Instructors at Grissom Academy have requested facilities on the Citadel to train young students who escape the attack on the school, but who are not re not yet ready to join the other the older students in combat. Citadel authorities will find room for the students if a Spectre approves the request. I'll authorize that. Absolutely. Military pardons for Normandy engineers. Oh, engineer Daniels and Ken Donnelly are in custody. Oh no. On the Citadel for working with Cerberus, Daniels and Donnelly surrendered peacefully before the Normandy was turned over to the Alliance, but have maintained that they were motivated purely to help the fight against the Collectors and the Reapers and had no other connection to the terrorist organization. Spectre authorization could offer Daniels and Donnelly full pardons and reinstate them aboard the Normandy! Yay! Come back to me, Donnelly! How exciting! Aquarian Pilgrim Jen Volan Varnima on the Citadel received a large credit transfer from the fleet. Oh yeah, the fleet's kind of MIA at the moment, isn't it? Hopefully we'll hear from Tali at some point. Okay, what about this? Spectre requisitions. Oh god. Should I be buying these things? Oh, cool. I would like a nice sniper rifle. A very expensive mind. I w I'm, I'm a shotgun girly, right? What is this? It's low accuracy? Uh, no, I can't be dealing with low accuracy. <laughs> the Paladin is a reliable, durable weapon developed by law enforcement looking for a high-powered but easily concealed sidearm. That sounds like a good one. That's a shotgun. A Wraith is a shotgun. Quick draw shotgun and that. It's very expensive though. I only have 76,000 credits and that's 75,000. I'm gonna get the Paladin. Oh, fuck. It's too expensive. We're not buying anything today. I don't actually know, really know any other spectres. Obviously there's me and Caden now representing the humans. We knew Saren, we knew Nihilus, they're both dead. All right, hang on, what's through here? Udina. What are you up to, sir? The council, you saved their lives, and for what? Great question. Apologies that boil down to maybe later. If we don't figure out something, maybe later will be an epitaph on a mass grave of 11 billion. Oof. I know what I'm gonna do. What are you gonna do? Humanity has created some goodwill in the galaxy. Now we cash in our chips. He seems like he's being I somewhat reasonable in this I game. Can, what materials I can and spread the message. Help the humans, help yourselves. I'll institute a draft in our colonies and order all civilian ships armed. Work on the Prothean device will be around the clock. Shepard, I expect you're curious about Major Alenko. Heard it on the news. Why'd you say it like that? How'd Caden go from sick bay to Spectre? Sorry you found out in such an impersonal manner. The Consul is in dire need of loyal agents. I had to Alenko really... Alenko is among the first of many. I had to really prove myself to become a spectre. It is a bit weird that they promote him after he's in such a bad way. Anyway, good for him. It's about time someone recognized what Caden's capable of. Yeah, exactly. Yes, a biotic, combat veteran with no PTSD, leadership skills, and most importantly, he is incorruptible. He's I loyal. Will be keeping him close. Do not worry. The time, my schedule has a way of catching up to me. Will this be all? Oh, I've got loads of questions for you, sir. What about Earth? Any news from Earth? There is constant news. All of it bad. <laughs> the Reapers are destroying satellites and the old nuclear missile silos, along with everything else that could help. We have a handful of quantum entanglers spread out over the continents. All other communication is cut. His voice sounds extra... Like, he sounds like a mustache twirling bad guy his voice is just out of control at the minute isn't it what's the council leverage what's like on the counselors any angles i could pursue tabos is a diplomat and compromiser but she's wrapped up in defending a sorry space like a mother panther valern is out of his depth the salarians like their wars won before they start they're frightened now use that okay Sparatus, i'd take what he offers it's strange days when the Turians are the least hostile to humans, and there's a need there. Poor Shepard. You're a Citadel counselor. Don't you have options when the others block you like this? With Parliament destroyed and Shastri gone, I have more power than Shastri. any human in history. But today, you saw how little that is. 
Rest assured, I will not be counted out long. I know I can move mountains. Do not lose sight of that, because the task before us is moving planets. Get some results, sir. <laughs> Anderson would be proud, so long as you deliver. You think you can do that? You need a carrot or a stick to drive a mule, and humanity has neither right now. Our armada is tied down fighting or fleeing. Aww. With Earth's calm buoys gone, our economy is reduced to an IOU. But leave that part to me. I will lean on our colonies for all they're worth, and I can broker enough trade to repair and resupply Hackett's fleet. Okay, what about you, though? How are you doing personally? Did you know a lot of people on Earth? Many. It's monstrous to think of them being snuffed out, of course, but the part that gets me is Arcturus. I must know... I must have known most of the Alliance Parliament Aww. on a first-name basis. I required a second VI just to track all their birthdays and anniversaries. Rose Garden stuff, but to have it all gone. Hmm. Oh, that's sad. He is thinking about them, I guess. I should go. I'll be here. All right. We've got a lovely office. Wow. So I don't know who this John Doom Barrow guy is. So we'll go and speak to him. Bum, 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 bum. Oh. oh, you're John Doom Barrow. Commander Shepard. John Dumbau, Special Tactics and Recon. I've got intel suggesting that high-level Hanar officials may be indoctrinated. Oh! That's a damning accusation. What have you got? Evidence of an Alliance Black Ops team raiding a Batarian research station. The Batarians were studying Reaper technology. The Batarians had Reaper technology? The Alliance raid turned into a massacre, and the humans ended up with nothing. Your people faked a power failure to hide the incident. The Batarians would have gone to war if they'd found out. But how does this implicate the Hanar? They maintained discreet grey market trade relationships with the Batarians and led the Alliance to the station. We suspect those Hanar operatives escaped with Batarian tech. If your reports on the Reapers are accurate, they could already be indoctrinated. No! What's your source on all this? It was an anonymous gift, but I believe it came <gasps> from a thief named Kasumi Goto. I've been after her for years. What you've been Kasumi. doing after her? You're hunting a thief? A master thief. Her intelligence and skill are almost Solarian. She is very intelligent. I'm sure she'd appreciate praise from the Spectre who's chasing her down. Spectre. I only need her data. I admire her personally. And since she sent me this, I assume her feelings are mutual. I... I will help you. But only because I want to see my chum, Kasumi, and have a little gossip. What do you need me to do? The Hanar operative is now a diplomat on the Citadel. I don't have a public name, and the Hanar will go to ground if I make a formal inquiry. So we're hunting? I'm tracking suspicious transmissions to the Hanar homeworld. I could use your help. Let me see what I can dig up at the Spectre office. Thanks, Shepard. And for the record, not everyone doubted your concerns about the Reapers. I just hope we're not too late. Well, these people should have spoke up sooner. So, <gasps> remember when you helped me get KG's gray box from Donovan Hawk? The one with information that could start a war. I thought we destroyed that information to keep you safe. No saying hello or anything. There were enough clues left for me to piece things together when I got curious. It was big enough to leak it to Bao. If you don't mind me tagging along cloaked, maybe I can help you dig up some dirt on the Hanar. We need to catch up, I girl. It. We need to catch mm. up, girly twirly. Where are you? Hanar embassy tracking. Spectre level access codes can bypass privacy settings and track financial data, transit records, and personal communications for all employees in the Hanar Embassy. To avoid triggering surveillance countermeasures, embassy files must be accessed on site. Nav points of consoles or access points with relevant information will be tagged on the Spectre's Omni tool. Enable. Ha ha ha. Enable everything. Shepard, I'm checking security reports. Can you track the transfers coming from the Hanar Embassy? On it. So you approve of Bao? Absolutely. He's a good Spectre. The galaxy needs more like him. Oh. And the fact that he's trying to arrest you? Well, nobody's perfect. <laughs> so what am I doing now? Hang on. Salarian Spectre John Doom Bao suspects that a member of the Hanar diplomatic staff is indoctrinated. Find evidence on the Hanar in the Presidium Embassy. Okay, we'll go and do that now then. Ah. Bao. Why'd she stop talking about it? Alone's clean. His money transfers are to support his mistress. Not sure about Haloon. I'll pull his bio. 
I'll check a list his mistress and pull his recent messages. Can I just note how odd it is for Hanar to have a mistress? <laughs> you know, if Bao catches up with you, I can grant you immunity. What? If I join up? Last time I did that, you wrote me into a suicide mission. Yeah, we survived though, didn't we? Didn't say you had to join up. You were working your way around to it. Why does nobody want to join me? I figured you guys would want to join me. The terminal at security checkpoint. Hmm. I think we need to go to the terminal at the security checkpoint in the holding area. That's where I'm gonna go. Holding area. Holding area. Now arriving at Docking Bay E24. What's this one then? Bow. Olun's doing some heavy lobbying Here we go. for the Hanar to support the war effort. So he's clearly not indoctrinated. Who's opposing him? An unnamed Hanar recently posted here from Kaz. Why'd she just stop saying the conversation? Would you rather the Reapers win? No. And I owe you for getting KG's gray box back from Hawk. But I can't do it the base, Shep. The Reapers aren't people. I can't infiltrate a Reaper party and steal a big I win bomb. You did so well in the final suicide mission, though. It was iconic. Me, Kasumi, and Garrus. Terminal in E28, which is in number four. So right at the end. Nobody talk to me. Leon is on Earth. God damn it. The beautiful city. You should visit. I, I was on my boat when boom. The sky went black. Dust and ash. A giant metal wall rushed. Oh my down. god. I fell into the river. Do you humans ever stop talking? When I climbed out. <laughs> the Batarian just says, shut the fuck up. <laughs> is it this one at the end here, do we think? This one. I've got a list of new Hanar arrivals, Bao. Forwarding it to you. Damn. These are all face names. The Hanar names from the Alliance raid are soul names. Soul and names. Soul names are private. There's no public record. Can you get back to their personal communications? On it. Maybe we'll find names there. So how's the rest of the gang? Met up with anybody else? We met Jack. Garrus. No! Stop! He never could pass <laughs> up a good fight. What about Jacob? Oh! Haven't heard from him. See, Jacob could have gotten me back onto the North. God damn it, we need to find Jacob Untouched. now. This girl, I knew she'd have some gossip and some tea for me. I wonder if we will bump into Jacob again. Hopefully we do, we can get uh, Kasumi back on board. Number one, security checkpoint, yep. Ah, it's this one again. Val, here's the correspondence. If there's any mention of soul names. I've got it, a recent arrival, Zemendis. Soul name regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair. He was with the Alliance team that massacred the Batarians. He's been on special research assignment ever since. So, he got his tentacles on some Reaper tech. His tentacles. I'm sending you the nav point for his office. I'll meet you there. Nice. Maybe I should go to the... Oh, it's the office suite. John Dumbao. We go back to the embassies. Let's see this one out. I think it's down here. There he is. Let's get this done. Zemandis. Oh, there's Kasumi. Or should I say, regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair? It seems this one has been apprehended, but confinement is irrelevant. The work of the Enkindlers cannot be stopped. What are you doing? Why are you trying to help the Reapers? We obtained information regarding the Enkindlers from classified sources. The Enkindlers? You mean the Protheans? Oh, shit. Yes. As you are aware, Commander Shepard, the Protheans eventually became the Collectors, and the Collectors served the Reapers. Well, you've got to be kidding me. Therefore, as a faithful servant of the Enkindlers, we too must serve the Reapers. So we have to kill the you jellyfish big, now. Stupid jellyfish. <laughs> you know. I support religious freedom for all species, but that's just crazy. I agree, Kasumi. Your skepticism does not matter. When the Enkindlers uplift us as their chosen sapiens, the galaxy will bear witness. Watch me. Oh, you big stupid jellyfish. I'm going to have to arrest the jellyfish. You're insane, and we can't allow you to <laughs> You're insane. your planet. We are taking you into custody. Your belief in your victory is mistaken. 
Our planetary defense network is largely automated. It can be disabled with a single virus. I'm excited to see Which how they I will handcuff. Have just uploaded. What the Damn. fuck? Wait, a virus would be detected unless sent on low priority channels, which have a time lag. I may be able to block the upload. Whoa. You may be delayed. Help him. I'll handle this. Kasumi. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. Got it. Uploads disabled. Looks like we're in the. Wait. He's got some kind of. No, Kasumi, no. Get down. No way. She was here the entire time. Yeah. She was an old friend. I she... intended to arrest her. She helped me take down the collectors, and she just gave her life to save What the fuck? Home. Did she just die? Point taken. It was an honor to work with you, Shepard. When the time comes, I'll be there to return the favor. With a few friends. You can come out now. Oh, fuck off, Gim! Lucky guess. There's no way you're recruiting me to fight in a galactic war. The Crucible Project needs technical experts. I'm not a scientist. No. Come on, Kasumi. In the galaxy, and you can hack unfamiliar technology better than anyone. They could use your help. And think of it. All that expensive tech just lying around. It's not like they're going to check your pockets at the end of the project. You say the nicest things. All right. Yay! Nice working with you again. The game trolled me so hard. I was about to be so, so angry at Bioware there, and yeah, they, they got me. They got me. <laughs> I feel like we need to go to the commons and speak with these people. We can speak with Sedaris, Oraka, and Norl. We'll do that. We'll go back to the commons. We'll go and speak to General Oraka first. He is in the courtyard currently. Have you decided how to tell him? Oh, these guys know, are about to break up a marriage. So I love it. Personal. He's off risking his life. He deserves more than that. I could record something, but I hate leaving vid messages. I always get flustered. Maybe you need a script. Or maybe I need to get him on a vid call so I can do it face to face. Who knows when he'll be deployed somewhere with an open comm channel. He knew it'd be hard to communicate. I love this for the girls. We love this for you girls. Here he is. Commander Shepard. Yes. General Araka. I think we met in Korra's okay. den. Okay, I think I might call. remember that. Yes. Neck deep in drink just before I retired. I'm clean now. Reinstated. Why are you sitting like that, sir? I know you're taking on the Blue Suns. I need to do my part for the Citadel, Commander. The Blue Suns are raiding CSEC weapons shipments. I'm putting a stop to that. Those mercs are seriously jeopardizing the Citadel's ability to defend itself if the war comes here. When the war comes here. There are other ways to secure weapons, General. You don't think I've tried? There's a black market dealer on Citadel right now. Oh. But he won't sell his top line arms. The Reapers are destroying everything in their path, and I can't stop them. But I can stop the Blue Suns. I'll get the weapons for you. I'll help you. Let me see what I can do for you. I do I remember you from Chorus Dancer. And I'll have a plan of action ready if things fall through. Another side quest. <laughs> Meridian Place Market, Kanik. I think that might be the person he wants me to speak to, no? Is Joker and Edie still hanging out? Yeah, they're still there. You good, Edie? Is he bothering you still? Why is he just standing staring at you? With so much intent. There he is. Hey, Kanik. Look, Commander, I don't want any trouble. I'm authorized to sell here and all my arms are legal, see? See? These are lightweight weapons. Where's your top end inventory? Shit, you slumming for C-Sec too? Shit. <laughs> I already got harassed by the old Turian. I don't know if I've heard the uh, Solarian yeah, swear that much. Stuff, but it's off the market. Galaxy's going belly up. Credit won't mean anything once the Reapers rip through. What do you mean so by that? what exactly are you saying? Whatever happens, I figure there'll be survivors. But it'll be chaos. 
I'm betting things will run on a barter system. Trading. So I'm getting a jump. My best stock only trades for hard goods and artifacts with real value. I kind of want to be... I feel like I haven't been doing many renegade options recently. And maybe I should, you know, itch the renegade scratch when I'm doing the side missions so that I don't upset any of my main homies. I don't want to pay him for it. I'm not asking. These weapons are for the war. If you don't do your part, I can make your life very unhappy. Shepherd. I, I'm sure you could. But even if you rough me up or, or kill me, my partners won't release the weapons without my okay. Mm -hmm. If you find any rare pieces when you're out saving the galaxy, bring them back. Then I'm happy to share my top stock with C-Sec, no problem. Outside of that, I gotta stick to my guns. God damn it. Credits don't talk with me, Commander. C-Sec wants my top of the line. You gotta come through with a couple artifacts. Ah, uh, I'm just running everybody's errands for them, aren't I? <laughs> Liara, can you help me? Hello, Shepard. <sighs> right, maybe we'll go and speak to Jonas Sedaris first then. CSEC outpost. Let's go speak to Sedaris. Can you help me? I've connected with Jonas Sedaris and her cell, Commander. You can speak with her via that console. This is the woman that we think is... Thanks. We'll need some loco. privacy. Of course. When you're done, you can also contact Commander Bailey from that terminal. You're not putting up the best you first impression. I your release. Bullshit. You have no choice. And when I get out, heads will roll. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, my you God. a lot of my people. Don't think I've forgotten that. Ooh. Spicy. Don't threaten me. It'd be smart to bury the threats, Sedaris. I'll toss them into the caskets with my victims. I love holding all the cards. Even in here, you must deal with me. I don't like this I woman. I have all the power. Is that right? <laughs> yes. Saying my second in command is a weak-willed toady. Toady? If he had balls, he'd leave me to rot and take control himself. But he won't defy me. He knows better. Now get me out of here, Shepard. Tell Bailey to release me. I don't feel Bailey confident in this, serious. but... So she's crazy, right? It would be ridiculous to let her out. Oh, I don't like these decisions. I'll find another solution because she is going to kill so many people. She's a menace. Let me try to make this problem go away. Sounds good. I'll hold the line until I hear from you. God damn it. Nothing's coming up. Sin is in the cargo hold. So maybe I need to go and speak to Sin. I need to speak to Narl as well. They're in the apartment. So God, right. This is so much running around and just chit-chatting with everyone. Yeah. Oh. Quick, hands behind your back. We'll be here in a minute. What the hell are you talking about? Crete, Blood Pack's leader. Aria brings him the great commander, Shepard. Crete pledges the gang to her. We're just luring him into the open so we can take him out. No! Not the best start to our friendship, Narl. He's coming. Put your hands behind your back and... Try to look like I beat you up or something. I'm gonna trust you, Batarian. This better be on the up and up. Quiet. Don't push me. Oh my god, no. I have to look even more powerful than Crete thought. Her instructions on boarding Citadel undetected were one thing. Now this. <sighs> Commander Shepard wants you to know. Your head will be hood ornament on my personal shuttle. Keep your distance, Cree. So, do you agree to Arya's terms? Give me a little renegade interrupt. Give it to me! <sighs> Most definitely. Arya can use blood pack as she sees fit. Wasn't talking to you, Crete. Quill? What? You have my word. Now open fire! Not him. Grill's next in line to take over. Arya's deal is with him. Yes. Yes. I'm Arya's mole, Shepard. You've scratched my back. Now I. Oh, their voice yours. is horrible. Word of advice don't double cross Arya. I may be ambitious, but I'm not crazy. 
Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Good work, Narl. Thanks for the gun. Anytime, Shepard. Grill and I will let Arya know the light is green. Okay. Okay. That was weird. We've done the blood pack. Now we just need to get the blue suns and the eclipse. And I want to go speak to Sin. He's in the holding area. Who's this guy? We just got a report that another ship made it off Palavan. Good. How many on board? 30 or 40 survivors. That's all. They said the fighting was getting worse. No. Well, let's find some room for them. Now, this is going to be home for a while. Men, get ready for trouble. <laughs> what? Not here for that, Zane. Just want to talk about Jonas Sedaris' release. Stand down. Oh. You're the one coordinating that, right? My idea, you know. Arya came to me looking to gain Eclipse support. I'm leveraging it to bust the boss out. Then you kill her. You don't need Sedaris. Saying you should run Eclipse. Huh? You can do it. Leave Sedaris locked up and make the deal with Arya yourself. Hmm. Arya would be a step up. And you think she'd let me run things? Yeah. I don't see why not. Right. Right. Then that's the plan. Keep Sedaris in jail. I'll call Arya right away. Good man. Extranet says you're Alliance military. Take care of yourself out there, officer. Thank you. Where does Commander Bailey hang out? And the embassies. Let's go back and speak to him. See if he's got anything what else to say. We were promised. It's been allocated to the Presidium. Then contact Commander Bailey over at CSEC. Tell him Garrus Vakarian would consider it a personal favor if he could reallocate the shipment so these people don't starve. I'll go speak to him, Garabar, don't worry. Shepard, the council withdrew the release order for Sedaris. Arya Tolok of all people got him to do it. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. That again. Thanks for your help, Shepard. All right, that one's done. So we've got Blood Pack and we've got Eclipse. Now we just need to figure out the Blue Suns. Hmm. I guess it doesn't matter how I do it. I just need to tell him about it. Wait. Us. You and me. He doesn't need to know that. Wouldn't it be better for him to just know that you've grown apart? Oh, this is a big uh, red flag, wife. Just be honest with him. You are. But you're just being tactful. Not rubbing it in. This is a bit of a red flag from you, mistress. Bit of a red flag. Commander, unless you can find a new, new source, source of weapons, weapons for CSEC, I'm putting together a task force to stop the Blue Suns myself. I'm working on it. I'll get you your weapons, General. So I he... appreciate the effort, but I've spent too much time out of action, Commander. Won't be able to sit on my hands much longer. So he wants the weapons, and Kanik wants. What did Kanik want? Credits don't talk with me, Commander. CSEC wants my top of the line. You gotta come through with a couple artifacts. Artifacts. Okay. So, can anyone give me, like, a hint of who I speak to or where I look to find the artifacts? Oh, I have to go to the galaxy map. Ah, uh, okay. Cool. That's enough. Thank you. We can head back to the Normandy for now. We get to do some scanning! Woohoo! How do I get back to the Normandy? Girls, I hope you sort out your uh, issues. Oh, I love scanning. I love doing upgrades. I love reading menus. I love it. We're looking for artifacts. So I guess I go to the mass relay. How do I scan? Find artifacts. Is that it? Is that it? Let's go to Kite's Nest then. Pew! Pew! Oh! Oh! Reaper alertness! Oh my god! Ah! I have to get all the way to Vular. And we're going to Vanna. 
a large rock planet, Vanna is covered in prodigious amounts of dry ice. Did I find the artifacts? Signal confirmed. What? 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 Start scanner. Oh, here we go. So what's through here? 50% of the assets are recovered. Oh. Wait, what? So I have to do more scanning in here? Is that what that means? What is gonna happen if the Reapers come? Ah! <laughs> oh no! Oh my God! What's happening? No! <laughs> I hated that so much. Can I just go back? <laughs> oh no, there's no Reapers eluded. So I can go back to the Citadel for now and we'll come back later. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? Let's go to the commons. I need a cab to the Presidium. It'll be there momentarily. After all, it's not like I'm the reason you're breaking up with him, right? It's the war. She's having second thoughts, wife. You said he'd been distant and that the war made everything clearer, that things weren't working. Yes, but meeting you was what made me realize how bad it had gotten. I just. I'm not the one who broke up your relationship. Uh-oh, really? mistress. Was it someone else who pinned me to the wall with her mouth? Oh, girl. Oh my goodness me. Ooh la la. Hello, Kanik. You're back, huh? Any luck out there? Hell yeah. Here, I've got some pieces for you. Done deal, Commander. Check in with General Oraka. You'll see I'm making CSEC very happy. Yay! dun da 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 we need to go and have a look at our war assets when we get back on the Normandy because I feel like I've updated quite a lot this evening. Hello, General. Commander Shepard, I was just contacted by a black market dealer who's donating high-end weapons to CSEC. He wanted you to know. Sounds like you came through. And the Blue Suns can go about their business. Mm -hmm. Now we'll be focusing on Citadel defense. It won't bring Palavan back, but it's something. Thank you. Done and done. Okay, Arya, your three friends are all in cahoots now. So should I go back and speak to Arya, do you think, before we go? Hey, girly twirly. Look who's here. The Blue Suns, Blood Pack, and Eclipse are in my pocket. I'll send them to war when you're ready for them. Is there anything on your mind? My new task force. What exactly have I acquired? An army that's willing to fight dirty, to do the things your respectable militaries won't do. That sounds like it will Eclipse come in handy, to be fair. Legions are excellent candidates for vanguards in any ground offensive. Well worth the little song and dance I had you perform, I'm sure. Are the blood pack falling in line? With Grill in charge, where all systems go. It's his voice, but my words. Couldn't have asked for a better puppet. The Blood Pack have committed 2,000 Vorcha to the cause. They'll make up the bulk of the army. That's pretty good. What about the Blue Suns? Is Donor Voss cooperating with you now? Getting General Araka off the Blue Suns' back did the trick. Voss still thinks he'll be getting me on mine. <laughs> but he's committed his veteran soldiers to me. In turn, I commit them to you. This is all very amicable. What have we gained by having the Eclipse at our disposal? A ton of mechs and elite troopers for stealth operations. Sane has turned out to be more malleable than Jonas Sedaris ever was. Yeah, she was My a little bit unhinged. Runs even deeper than I expected. You surprised me by taking such agency in the matter. Ooh, this is a bit flirty, isn't it? I thought that too. 
What about Omega? Tell me about Omega. How do you plan on taking Omega back? I think I'm going to employ violence. I'm gonna slap Omega right out of the elusive man's greedy little hands. Love you. Love you so much, girl. We're gonna be great friends. We'll talk later. I'm sure. I'm sure. Yay, that feels successful. There's the, uh, the ass lady. Ass effect, everyone. Come on, James, let's go back to the Normandy. There she is, the Normandy. Looking so fucking good. I wish Miranda would come back and join us. All right, we're back, everybody, on the Normandy. I feel like we have acquired a few new shipmates, so we should do a quick run around the ship. I do want to check out the war room because we picked up, hi, um, we picked up a lot of war assets and stuff along the way. So I want to see how that affects this menu. So the Alliance has now got, oh, wow. Okay. So we've got the Engineer Corps, Marine Division, First, Third Fleet. Kaylee Sanders is now part of our war assets. We have Jack. The Alliance Fifth Fleet as well. Kasumi is now on there. Diana Allers and the Normandy. Very good. And now we've also got Alien. Alien races that were once content to stay on the fringes of galactic politics are now stepping up to provide whatever is needed to win the war. We've got the Terminus Fleet. Ah, we have the Spectre Unit. And then we also have the Hanar and Drell Forces. Thane will be happy to hear that. Very good. The total military strength is still very, very low. So we have a lot of work to do. That's good. It's good to see that menu progressing a little bit. I feel like I'm understanding it. James, what did you think about me buying them all drinks at the bar? Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? Yeah, maybe, maybe people are not gonna have much to talk about. What about you, dog? Hey there. Hey there. No one's got any gossip for me. I wish Kasumi came back on board. Oh, we can go and speak to the engineers, though. Yay! It's great to be back. Feels good to be in an Alliance uniform again. Jesus, your head has Welcome turned aboard, all the way around. Oh, it's great to have them two back on board. What do you think of the madams? Need anything, Commander? How's Engineer Donnelly working out? The kid's got talent. Now if he could just learn to shut his damn mouth. <laughs> Problems? I'm sorry, Commander. Donnelly is dedicated, knowledgeable, and thinks on his feet. I'm glad to have him on my team. Could use a lesson or two about respecting chain of command, oh. but I've handled the likes of him before. No need for concern. What about Gabby? She's nice, How's right? How's Engineer Daniels working out? Her, I like. She's sharp and knows propulsion theory better than most physicists I've met. And she's easy to work with, too. Oh. Always said you had an eye for talent. Good job bringing her back to the Alliance. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, ma'am. I'm glad we have them back on board. I wonder, is Javik down here? I told you Shepard would come visit. Oh, I like when we hear them talking. Javik, are you still hanging out down here, or? You are, okay. Commander. It's a little strange that you're still down here, Commander. but it's fine. So nobody's in here now. I've got this whole room where my baby grunt used to live. Oh, I hope we reunite with my child someday. Still nobody in here. This is where Kasumi used to hang out, but we've sent her to work on the crucible now. Thane's hanging out in the hospital, looking out for Caden for me, because he's a real one. Nobody in here. God, the ship feels quiet still, right? Let's go see if Dr. Chakwas has any gossip for me. I wonder where Legion is these days, too. I'm glad to see we have Garrus back. Yay! I wanted to help with his scars, but I think he actually likes them. He thinks the chicks dig the scars, no? I wonder where the chef ended up. The Cerberus chef. Hope he's doing well. Gare Bear! Not right now. Oh, <laughs> that was horrible! Liara? Ready for the next mission? Yeah, I'm ready. Ready for the next mission? 
Oh, some Prothean notes. I'm not sure what to make of Javik. I approached him while we were traveling to a different system, but he wasn't very inclined to talk. What little he does say concerns the Reapers and our possible failure. Is he simply a soldier mourning his people or is it a fundamental difference in our cultures? Mm. The thing this Prothean must have seen. If they had the technology to preserve someone for over 50,000 years, no wonder they were capable of building things like the device on Mars. I must give him the time to get his bearings, but goddess, when will we get another chance to learn so much about their civilization? Have we got any good outfits? Ooh, ooh, that's like Captain Anderson's outfit. Oh, this is just like Captain Dad's outfit. I love it so much. My initial thoughts with today's stream was that we would just get loads of side missions done on the Citadel. And all we've done is pick up every single side quest. But I think we, we've got a good chunk done with Arya. We picked up a few that are like we have to find something along our travels and then just bring it back one day so that's that's fair enough that is where we're going to leave it for now we've got a couple more side quests to complete in the next one and we'll probably start off with either the aria dlc or the dr bryson mission so leave a comment let me know what you think we should do next and i'll see you in the next one